All right, folks, Logan Alec here with another app review. This one is of the Long Game Savings app. I actually personally signed up for Long Game Savings and used it myself. So in this video, I'm going to review the app as well as give you a complete walkthrough of the app on screen. Then at the end, of course, I will share the pros and cons of this app. This video is not sponsored by Long Game Savings. They don't even know I'm doing this, but uh, I do have my referral link in the description below. Would really appreciate it if after you watch this video and you think long game is for you, if you use my link in the description. But before I jump into the tutorial, let's talk about what the heck this app is. Well, long game presents itself as an app that rewards you for everyday saving with chances to play games and win real cash prizes through your bank account. So this is basically a uh, gamified savings. You deposit money into your long game account. Technically, your money is at one of Long Game's partner banks. I'll cover that later in the video. But basically, you deposit money into a savings account. And the more money you deposit into your savings account, the more in-game coins you earn. And you can use these coins to play games in the app. They have scratcher games, uh, puzzle games, various games where you can earn cash as well as cryptocurrency. So it's a pretty fun concept. Uh, let's jump right in and see how well it's executed. You can download Long Game Savings in the App Store or the Google Play Store. Like I said, I'd be thrilled if you use my link in the description. Uh, anyway, installation is very easily after it installs and you open it up, you create your account with your email address and you set a password. You click agree and continue. Then Long Game sends you a six digit verification code to your email to verify your email. Interestingly enough, my verification code email from Long Game actually went to my spam folder. So be sure to check your spam folder if you do not see the confirmation email in your inbox. But I eventually got my, got my code. I input that code. Uh, and then you have to select a partner bank. Why? This is because Long Game is not a bank in and of itself. It's basically a, uh, a marketing uh, kind of platform for banks, right? Uh, Long Game is free to use. Um, to you, right? So it makes money by essentially marketing bank accounts with its partner banks like Verabank and NBKC Bank. If you go to longgame.co slash partners, you'll see the long game right now uh, is really trying to get more partner banks on board with it because then obviously uh, long game has more partners to make money with. So uh, when you sign up for long game, you have to create an account with one of their partner banks. I don't know how long game is compensated for that. Maybe it's a commission per new account opened. Uh, maybe it's tiered somehow based on, you know, the amount of a, a user's deposits. Um, I don't know, but that seems to be how long game makes money. So right now, the only two banks Long Game is working with are Vero Bank and NBKC Bank. These are both legitimate banks. They're FDI insured and all that. Uh, so I selected Vero Bank kind of randomly. I mean, I like that it said it has a high yield savings account. I looked at Vera's website. Right now, it looks like the interest rate on their high yield savings account starts at 0.2% uh, APY, and then you can earn up to 3% APY if you meet certain qualifications on a monthly basis. I'm not going to in, get, get into the details of that here. Maybe I will do a dedicated Vero Bank review at some point in the future. Uh, but basically, I signed up for a Vero Bank account. It was pretty easy. Uh, it took all of five minutes on my phone. Again, I'm not going to walk you through that whole process. Uh, maybe I'll save that for a dedicated Vero Bank review. But basically, after I set up my Vero Bank account, I went back to Long Game and logged in with my Vero Bank credentials and asked to verify my identity via code sent to my phone. I got the code, put it in. There we go. Success. Your account has been successfully linked to Long Game. I click Continue. Then Long Game asked me to choose uh, the savings account where I want my Long Game rewards to be deposited. I chose the Vero savings account because that's the one that earns the interest, right? Um, it wanted me to verify name, my name again. And then I was in. I was in Long Game Savings. Uh, first thing I saw was your savings jar is ready. Achieve your goals with personal insights and recommend uh, recommend recommendations. I clicked Get Started and then I got an initial 500,000 coins to start playing Long Game immediately. You know, that's fun, right? That's awesome. So I clicked awesome. And uh, then it says swipe around to collect rewards, get personalized advice and more. Okay, so I swiped around. Uh, but let's go through all the major parts of the Long Game app first. There are five major screens. They're each indicated by icons uh, at the bottom of the app. The leftmost one is where you can deposit money into your Long Game savings account. It shows your balance in your Link Bank account. Uh, mine was obviously zero when I started. It shows you your crypto rewards. Yes, like I said, you can play games in Long Game uh, to win cryptocurrency rewards, and then you can transfer your crypto to your external cryptocurrency wallet. Then below that, it shows your game wins. These are all obviously empty when I first download the app. But, uh, you know, as I use the app more, I will obviously uh, have some winnings in here to show. Uh, the next screen, which is indicated by the little play button at the bottom, this is the game center. This is where you actually play games, right? How it works is you have a balance of coins and you use those coins to play games to earn money and cryptocurrency and you earn more coins every day. 
okay? And the more money you have deposited in your Link Bank account, the more coins you earn every day, okay? So the first game that Long Game showed me was a basic flip game where if you match two tiles, you get the prize indicated on the tiles. So when I played, I won 50,000 coins in addition to the 500,000 bonus coins I got for signing up. Um, and then you can use these coins to play games to win real prizes, right? Like money or cryptocurrency. So uh, that is the play screen. I will come back to that screen and play some more games later in this video so you can see how much I won. Uh, but for now, let's move on to the home screen. The home screen is basically uh, a path showing you your missions. <laughs> so when I click that blue gem looking thing on the screen, it takes me to another screen called my missions. So my first mission in long game is to reach $10 in savings in my Vera bank account. And once I do that, long game tells me that I will earn 3,500 coins per day in addition to a one-time 30,000 coin bonus. So this is how long game incentivizes you to make deposits and increase that savings balance, right? By rewarding you with more and more coins. The last screen there with the gift icon, that's basically just your referral code. I will come back to that, uh, but let's just play some games first. So I clicked on the play button. I decided to play that crypto game at the top. So as you can see indicated on the screen, it looks like a basic spin game where you spin the wheel and you get whatever prize the arrow lands on, if any. And I can see on this screen here that each spin of the wheel will cost me 50,000 coins. So I decided to play that game. So I clicked it, spun the wheel, I got try again. And then the second time I won, uh, get this, I won 0 0.00002 Ethereum. As of the time I'm recording this, Ethereum is worth over $1,700. Uh, so that's basically the equivalent of 3.4 cents worth of Ethereum. Um, I decided to keep playing this game, won a little bit more uh, Ethereum. On my last spin, I actually made 0 0.00027 Ethereum, which is obviously uh, quite a bit more than my first spin. Uh, but all in all, I think I won uh, 0 0.00039 uh, Ethereum, which is worth about 69 cents. But hey, at least it's something. Uh, then I played some other games, a Connect 3 game where you kind of draw lines to match the same object. I didn't really like this one. I spent like over 100,000 coins and only won five cents, so would not recommend that one. I played another game that was kind of similar to the previous one, except instead of drawing lines, you just swap um, uh, items. I didn't really like that one either. Uh, then I played a slots game, didn't win anything there. So I actually had the best luck with those crypto games, right? The crypto spin game. Uh, but of course, your mileage may vary. I wish I knew this at first, but actually at the bottom of the play screen, there's a row, row of games called Best Odds and Highest Payouts. Uh, so I guess in the future, I'll save my, my coins to only play those, those games since they uh, apparently offer the best odds of winning, at least according to Long Game itself. Uh, there are other games where you can simply win coins, so you don't win cash or, or, or crypto, but you can win coins, so you can play more games to win cash or crypto. Uh, then like I said previously, the gift icon at the bottom right of the app is where you can get your own referral link to share Long Game with friends. Like I said, I'd be thrilled if you used my referral link in the description below. All right, so it's a pretty simple app. Now let's go over the pros and cons. Uh, as usual, let's start with the pros. Pro number one, this app uh, truly does encourage savings through gamification. And the games, you know, they're kind of fun. Uh, there's not necessarily a lot of skill involved in winning them, but you do get that little thrill uh, as you wait to see if you won, and if so, what you won. Pro number two, Long Game is free. There are no costs to using the app and the bank account that uh, I linked up with Long Game, Vero Bank, it's a free account as well. Finally, pro number three, Long Game gives you a chance to kind of easily jump into crypto without the risk. Granted, you may only earn, you know, nickels and dimes worth of crypto, but hey, at least you get a little bit of exposure there. Uh, and on that note, I actually started mining cryptocurrency myself recently. If you wanna learn more about that, check out the link at the top of the screen as well as in the description below. All right, now let's talk about the cons of long game savings. Con number one, uh, long game at this time has a very limited number of partner banks. At this time, the only two banks that you can integrate with long game are Vero Bank and NBKC Bank. I'm not saying these banks are bad or anything. In fact, the Vero Bank uh, high yield savings has a pretty decent saving uh, interest rate right now, especially given the recent decline in interest rates. Um, but still, if you check out these two banks, and neither one makes sense for your situation, well, you can't really use long game at that point. Um, related to that is con number two. Although depending on what bank and what bank account you choose um, in long game, you, you can earn interest on your deposits and on your long game winnings, it's possible that you would potentially earn more interest at a different bank. Con number three, uh, the games are fairly fun, right? Um, but at least in my experience, the payouts are a bit low, right? I had 500,000 coins and I won 66 cents worth of Ethereum and five cents worth of dollars. Um, but hey, it's something, right? And and it's fun. Uh, and, you know, and it makes sense the payouts are low because these are free games. 
right? You don't have to deposit $100 to play or something like that. And finally, con number four is that long game could potentially encourage some people to oversave. As you know, I'm a big fan of investing, and although I like the aspect of gamifying savings, I wouldn't want you, especially if you have something of a addictive personality surrounding games, to uh, forgo investing, right, by dumping a lot of money into long game that you would have otherwise invested. But if you have a savings goal right now, whether that's an emergency fund, you know, uh, buy a car, or down payment on a home, things like that, you know, long game is a fun way to save towards those goals. But I wouldn't want you to oversave at the expense of investing. Right. By the way, if you haven't seen my Investing for Beginners video, be sure to check it out. Uh, there is a link on the next screen to that video, as well as a link to another video of an app called Inbox Dollars, where you purportedly play games to win money as well. I don't like Inbox Dollars as much as Long Game, and I tell you why in that video. So I'll see you over there.